The Inmo Air 3 uses a full color 1080p Sony Micro OLED panel. It's got 600 nits of brightness, so the picture is sharp, bright, and vivid, even when you're outside in sunlight. Now, it uses a one dimensional expansion waveguide array, which refines the image but also keeps it bright. And it also adds anti peeping privacy layer, meaning only you can see what's coming up on the screen. Now, the display gives you a 36 degree field of view, and this translates to about a 150 inch virtual screen in front of you. When you see it in person, it genuinely feels like watching a huge cinema display right in front of you. It follows your eye line, there's no looking up or down, and everything is just nicely centered. And it's perfect for Netflix, YouTube, TikTok, or anything you want to stream. Now, if I cut now to the through the lens footage, you can see just how it looks. While it's very hard to capture with my camera, in person, it's bright, clean, and an immersive experience. And what makes this experience even better than other glasses I've tried is that the Air 3s aren't just a display with a 120 degree field of view, which is great for capturing travel clips or vlogging hands free. It's always ready to go and because it's built into the frame, you don't need to pull out your phone at all to record moments that happen quickly around you. And the wide angle lens makes it perfect for capturing scenery or group shots without thinking about the framing. Now, it's a great addition for people who like documenting their day or shooting quick clips while you're walking or traveling. So we'll just take a look at the camera samples now. So this is a test inside. Just walking around, there's a dog. Hello. Just to give you an idea what the video quality is going to be like indoors, we're coming in to some very warm yellow lighting there. If we walk upstairs away from it, some more natural light. You see, this is the kind of video quality you're going to get indoors. This is a video walking down a darker alley outside, raining slightly. So hopefully that doesn't go on the camera. But this is a bit of a lower light situation outside with the dog. Now we're out in the field again, raining a bit and a little bit of a miserable day. But it's actually really nice while you're filming. You can see what you're filming, but it also doesn't block your view. You can still see in front of you. So I'm looking at the dog. I can still just about see the dog through the screen. But of course, if I look up a bit, then the dog's in my full view. Just do some panning around and some walking forward so you can see what the stabilization is like. There's also a little bit of wind coming at me, so it's going to be interesting to see how the glasses deal with that. But this is the but this is the quality you're going to get from the video camera.